So in this video we're going to look at magnification. And magnification is basically how much bigger um, than the specimen it is. So your image, um, how much bigger that image is compared with the specimen. So your image is whatever you're looking at. So it could be down the microscope or it could be a printed off um, it could be a, a printed off picture. So for example if something that you measure um, if something is say one centimeter and you look at it through a magnifying glass or look at it through a microscope with a hundred times magnification it's going to be it's going to look or the image that you would see would be a hundred centimeters in size so that's basically what we're trying to work out by looking at magnification if something is one centimeter you've got a hundred times magnification your image that will be a hundred centimeters because that will be magnified up you've made it bigger a hundred times bigger than it actually is in terms of calculating magnification it's quite an easy calculation so if we um, just write down the equation basically magnification is equal to what's called the length of the image so that's what you are looking at over the length of the specimen so that's the actual length that's the actual size of the object or organism or whatever you're looking at that's its actual size now if you can rearrange uh, equations then that's dead easy just magnification it's the length of the image over the length of the specimen and quite often in an exam paper they will give you a mark simply for quoting being able to write down that equation now if you struggle with maths or if you struggle at rearranging equations then there is a formula um, pyramid so that basically starts off with length of the image at the top and then you've got magnification and you've got length of the specimen and that can be put into a neat formula pyramid like that and then what you do with that if you wanted to work out say the length of the specimen you put your finger over that usually you draw it out and then you work out that the length of the specimen is equal to the length of the image divided by the magnification or if you want to work out the um, length of the image then it's magnification times length of specimen or if you wanted to work out the magnification then it's the length of the image divided by the length of the specimen and that's quite an easy way if you struggle to rearrange formula in an exam and you just want to learn something to be able to do magnification questions now if you do use this and I recommend you write it out properly in this sort of magnification A equals length of image over length of specimen just to make it super clear to the examiner that you know what you're trying to work out on what the two things that you need to measure or get given now it's going to be pretty obvious in most exam questions because you're going to be given something you'll either have to measure the length of the image or you'll get given the length of the image give, given the length of the specimen and be asked to calculate the magnification or get given two of those things and asked to work out the other and it's a basic question a basic um, kind of calculation question found quite common in biology and once you can do these and once you know this formula and how to use it then it's easy marks and it's very quick marks as well it's something you're not having to think about you can just go out and do it so the first example of these we're going to look at is calculating magnification so we're going to work through an example I'm going to give you the question first so if you want to stop the video at that point and then try and have a go looking at the stuff before then you can do but then I'll go through it so basically the question is the image so the magnified image is 10 millimeters wide and the specimen is 0.1 millimeters wide now usually in an exam question you won't be given it this clearly but 
we're just testing the basics of being able to work out that equation. So, if you want to do it, then just stop the video now. Okay, so, to work this out, you're obviously going to have to work out what the magnification So, just to recap, magnification is equal to the length of the image divided by the length of the specimen. Now, to do that then, so that is equal to the length of the image, we know that is 10 millimetres, so put 10 in there. These units are the same, they're both millimetres, okay, so both 10 millimetres for the image and 0.1 millimetres for the specimen, so it's going to be 10 divided by 0.1. Now 10 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 100. So we know that it is a 100 times magnification. You'd usually get in an exam, you'd normally have something which came out to quite a nice answer. If you got something like 68.3, then I'd always go back and check it just to make sure that you've got the calculation correct, that you've not divided, that you've not switched to the length of the specimen and the length of the image. So we're usually looking for a sensible answer. The second thing we're going to look at is calculating the length. So this is calculating the length of the specimen. Now, we're going to start off with um, something which the length is going to be equal to uh, length of the image is going to be equal to five millimeters and the magnification is going to be equal to 50 so if you want to do this then just stop the video now the basics of this, you're going to have to rearrange that original formula or use that formula um, pyramid. What you should have worked out, gotten from the formula, is that the length of the specimen is equal to the length of the image divided by the magnification. So those are our two values, and we know both of those. So that is equal to the length of the image which is 5 divided by the magnification which is 50 which gives us a length of image and remember we're doing this length of image in millimeters so we're going to carry that unit across that's going to be 0 0.1 millimeters now we'll always remember the units if you've done a calculation like this then your length of the image whatever units that is in then that will be your answer if it's an asking for a different unit, then you then need to convert this 0 0.1 into a different um, unit. So if you need it in centimetres or nanometres or micrometres, then you're going to have to do another calculation to convert that into the right unit. So the last example we're going to do is calculating the length of the image. So to calculate the length of the image, we're obviously going to need the length of the specimen and the magnification. So if we say that we've, we know that the specimen is 0.2 millimeters wide, and we know that the magnification is going to be 100. So again, if you want to try and work out the, the calculation to work out the length of the image, then just stop the video now and then come back to it. So the first thing again, you're going to have to identify, rearrange that equation. So what you should get is that the length of the image is equal to the magnification times the length of specimen. So that is your rearranged equation. Now, if we know that the magnification is 100, and then we know that the length of the specimen is 0.2 millimetres, 
then we're going to do 100 times 0 0.2 which is equal to 20 millimeters because we've used millimeters as our specimen so millimeters is going to be the unit that we're going to have down there again if you need to do a calculation then to change your units to change what it's measured in then you'll have to do another calculation to change it from this 20 into whichever bit